Good evening, Guam. I'm Tina Chow for Guam News Watch. Carl Gutierrez and Frank Uggen Jr. have their day in court over their election fraud lawsuit, but we'll get to that in just a moment. First, the Guam Election Commission is meeting to talk about complaints filed after the general election. And then things got interesting. Jeff Marshall is just back from that meeting and joins us now with the latest. Jeff. Thank you, Tina. Consternation filled the conference room on the second floor of the GCIC building late this afternoon. At issue, whether or not certain expired members of the Guam Election Commission board have a legal 90-day grace period in which to revalidate their positions. Others may not have that privilege at all due to long expired terms. It all comes to a head after media reports surfaced yesterday that several board members may not be valid. At stake, possibly the governor's race, a race that hinges on the machine counted certified election results that commissioners declared in favor of the Calvo Tenorio guber gubernatorial team on November 6th. The surprising outcome just before we left, an out informed, outspoken Republican Calvo Tenorio supporter named Larry Ramirez objected to being asked to leave executive session and proclaimed certified election results invalid. A crowd of Gutierrez Uggen supporters agreed, including high profile Gutierrez Uggen campaigner Carlo Branch. Here's more. Has anybody ever done a recount with a machine? No, you do a recount with a hand count. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. If the machine made a mistake the first time, and the machine spread out a different number, and there was a different of 300 votes, where did those votes come from? They even had lengthy discussion as to whether or not executive session would be legal. Uh, earlier this morning, I, like several other people, have been arguing that the 90-day extension, which Mr. Cabot is uh, hanging his hat on, does not count because it is in a different part of the code that is specific to legislatively confirmed appointees, which none of the board members are. We'll have an update on that tomorrow. An update from Election Central or Election Commission headquarters just in. I was texted that they are still in executive session. Now back to that election lawsuit heard in Superior Court today. It was a special session heard before Judge Vern Perez. But after today, he will no longer preside over that case. After meeting and greeting well-wishers just down the street from the courthouse this morning, former Governor Carl Gutierrez met his attorney David Lujan en route, and the two paced their way over to find out whether Judge Vernon Perez would bow out of the case, the case that Gutierrez and running mate Frank Uggen Jr. have brought against their gubernatorial general election opponents, Eddie Calvo and Ray Tenorio, as well as the Election Commission on allegations of voter fraud and ballot mishandling and asking the Superior Court to throw out election results that declared Calvo Tenorio the winners. Gutierrez Uggen got what they wanted following their statement of objection over Perez presiding because the judge admittedly has a cousin who's a little too close to the defendants. The judge did not specify which defendants. In the interest of justice and expediency, I will voluntarily recuse from hearing this case We'll see where it goes, but again, that it's the best in the interest of justice. Thank you very much. The case is no longer going to be in Superior Court at all? Well, at this moment, it is not here anymore. It's been removed to the federal court, and it's up to us, meaning the plaintiffs, you know, if we want to file a motion to remand, and that is to return the case back here, and that's one of the... You know, one of the uh, options that we'll be looking at, you know, starting today. And it seems the defendants that Gutierrez and Uggen have named in their lawsuit feel the same. After all, Cal 10 attorney Mike Phillips had already asked the court to dismiss the case for lack of jurisdiction. Protecting their clients' interests, the Cabot Mantanoia law firm had filed a notice of removal of the case from Superior Court on behalf of the Election Commission so the case can be heard in federal court instead. And in this case, the uh, complaints allege several federal violations of law. And um, thrown in there is the election contest situation. So uh, we are trying to be prudent and uh, trying to avoid uh, expenditures, um, unnecessary expenditures of trying this matter twice. Meanwhile, Gutierrez, Uggen, and Attorney Lujan are keeping their options open. Will you file that notice to remand? Well, we'll make that decision. You know, we'll make that decision in the next day or two. So at this point, it's too early to ask you for an opinion whether or not it belongs here? 
well, we fouled here. So, you know, our, our, our position is we want it, you know, we wanted the case here also. Nevertheless, and despite his official position representing election commission defendants, Mantanonia says he actually supports Gutierrez Huggins' right to fight for what they believe in, perhaps asserting that justice is blind and that an impartial court system must ultimately prevail. While today's court case can be considered incremental, it was also an important step forward for all attorneys and their clients so they can dig their heels in for a fight to the finish. Thank you, Jeff. A new ethics complaint has been filed with the legislature's Committee on Ethics and Standards. The committee didn't disclose who filed this new complaint or what the complaint is about, just that more information will be released tomorrow. The committee does have an active ethics case against Senator Ray Tenorio over his name change. That issue still needs to be addressed. The Ethics Committee has a meeting scheduled for noon on Monday.